Uh, and so he's, he came here rocking the jersey as support for the pass. But Insignia is playing Bowser. So right. we're going to be seeing big boy nonsense on mashing buttons with command grabs and armor versus the Roy. So actually, he's not playing the Shulk today. He's actually playing more of the Roy. Interesting. I'm actually happy to see that purely because I can create, uh, I can prevent my fraud status from being let known because mm -hmm. Shulk matches, historically for all commentators, uh, you're gonna get something wrong at some point. There is so much of that character. But these two characters, there's a lot to them, but not really in the same way. You know, I'd say that both of them are kind of linear. You know, Roy mm -hmm. wants to run at you. He has amazing speed and he can go in your face. Bowser also has amazing speed and wants yeah, to go in your face. He does not deserve to run as fast as he does. <laughs> but one of the things that Fume has been saying of late is that he feels like the Roy lets him play the game more with a solid approach of how to under like actually pressure. Whereas Shulk, he's, he sometimes overcomplicates it. So maybe that's part of why he's going right here. That's a big punish though. Decides to go for down smash just to make sure he catches both sides. But that down smash by comparison to forward smash, not as strong. So yeah. he needs to capitalize on that better next time. Command grab though, gonna put him off stage. Salty, he could get hit by fair. Oh, or F tilt, get F -tilt. <laughs> That's the thing, you have to be optimal in your punishes against Bowser. If he gives you that stock on a platter, if you don't take the chance to do it right then and there, he can always turn it around on you. Like, Bowser kills disgustingly early. Name a move of Bowser's that is not a kill move. Uh, I'll wait. Hmm. And don't say flare. fire. Uh, Nair back air, are you kidding me? No, 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 you said a kill move. You didn't say a kill confirm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pay me my money. All right, so right now, uh, tech, yeah, tech chases on platforms are so scary when Bowser's directly below you. Up tilt covers so much. Uh, the Nair covers so much. Command grab as well. So right now, Fume kind of struggling after he had a pretty solid lead to start. He hasn't really established grab pressure on onto Bowser. But one thing Bowser hates is getting juggled a bunch by these jabs. But luckily for Bowser, at least he's heavy enough to avoid getting killed by jab air there. Yeah, and that's the thing, that weight is so crucial. He survives those one instance where every other character in the class, in the class, in the <laughs> cast, would have uh, would have dropped to that jab, that uh, jab back air. But now here he is living at 123, and with no rage onto Fume, that is going to mean it's even harder for him to take this stock. Yeah, normally, which isn't an issue being Roy, but because it's Bowser, you actually have to, like, center stage, f -tilt might not kill here. So you have, yeah. oh my goodness, 58%. Oh. Trying to catch him on landing with the fair. Almost got him right there. Looked like he was looking for maybe a jump away, but the Spot touch gets by. There it is. There's the F tilt and close it up to the ledge. This is still only 58%. And that's Bowser. So you know he's going to take 60 off of something like just this. Oh, now yeah. he misses the falling up air, though, uh, uh, Salty. That would have been a lot of damage. Yeah. And you know, you had mentioned before how Fume, you know, the ledge trapping from him is maybe could use a little work. This is a matchup where, oh my god, the difference between being able to ledge trap and mm -hmm. not is going to be such a difference maker. Bowser normally struggles to get off the ledge. But for the most part, Insignia has been, you know, he's getting juggled, but he's getting off pretty and easily. Oh, as I say that, being yeah. taken for a ride at 107, he's stuck on this platform. I'm his, loving the pressure. His reward on hit has been so good. He's actually been capitalizing an advantage way more. He's actually whiff punishing, but a lot of whiffs right there. Yo comes down with the backer, but he ends up going to the right, so that still gets him alive. But we're getting close to the range where a command grab might kill. Goes for an aggressive what? down air. As we see, Insignia just trying to refine his ground. One straight back air could do it as you see him hunting for it right now. <laughs> that I mean, back air for Roy still not enough to do it though. S is, he has no jump off stage. Maybe go down for a counter. No, he doesn't want to risk it. Trying to get this ledge trap here. Those platforms have just been such a godsend he is to getting... Insignia. Oh, there it is. Gets the out tilt, gets the hit, and that's going to lead to the kill. But one thing that did happen, you were talking about the platforms. Insignia got away from jumping on, off ledge like four times. Uh, yeah. uh, like Especially the last two interactions, he jumped from ledge for free. So you have to look out for that. Obviously, you know, sometimes it's a no mix-up mix-up. He ain't going to do it again, right? He just did it. He's at kill percent. He ain't going to do it again. But he did. It's because you haven't established him. I have to be scared of this. So maybe a couple double jump fares. Maybe a couple, uh, like, fair to landing there. Yeah. That could put some fear into Bowser. I mean, right there, you saw that was a ledge jump from the ledge in order to set himself up for this kill. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think part of that also has to do with positioning, that it felt like he was a little bit too close to the ledge while ledge trapping, meaning that when he jumped up, landed on that platform, it, it was just a little bit too much time for him to get there, and the reaction, you know, reaction alone was not enough to do it. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens here in game number two. Insignia uh, had a pretty solid start after getting the lead and was able to kind of run with it for a bit. Let's see if that continues to be this way. Oh, I thought it was, we saw it earlier. He tried to go for Bowser Bomb on the platform to like read to get him. I for sure thought Insignia was going for it again there. 
Okay, I'm liking this pressure from you. Ooh. The fact that he's throwing out moves, but they're oh, he's not like letting himself get punished by Bowser's really strong hitting hits, which is definitely what Insignia is looking for right now. He's at 85%. Trapped at the ledge, there's definitely going to be... Oh man, that down air. It's just so much knockback. I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, you're right. He was forced to recover high, and that f going to cover that every single time. Insignia, once again, getting off to a hot lead here. It's about keeping that lead. You want to make sure you're forcing Roy to jump on you and jump on shield for a bunch so you can get that rolling fortress punish. And also, just staying still. Knew the roll was coming in, covering him. And that's a free 39% as we see him. Oh, doesn't even go for the jab block. Salty just converts into that down smash. Yeah, look at this. So neck and neck and percent right now. But, like, what is percent to a Bowser? Oh, You're at kill percent at all times versus Bowser. And, but Bowser, he's totally fine. Like, a forward smash from mid-stage, I don't even know if that would kill Bowser right now. Yeah, I, well, uh, you know what? You're making me question it all of a sudden. I bet it, it should, but after that ledge, you can see him looking for it right now. Trying to find a sweet spot. Bear too, but these aggressive rolling fortresses. Gets him with the fair. Force the air dodge high. That should be a big punish. At least a down smash. There you go. Now, what does he do about the ledge? Does he cover the jump that time? Actually switching up with for get-up attack. Yeah, oh, I'm liking the fact that he's mixing up, already anticipating Fume the way that he has been trying to ledge trap. And oh, this is going to be really, really bad for Fume. Already at 88%, still those little parts of Roy's sword not actually leading into any kills. That should be it. No, yes. he doesn't get the back air. Too much rage is now getting into the point where it's hard to confirm. It's getting sour spot fair or back air. Oh, just to confirm up there. He didn't believe hard enough. He got the hit. Now up smash is going to take it. You see Fume shaking his head right there. Insignia cleaning it up. But now there's quite a few people in the crowd. Remember, this is Connecticut. So a lot of people are getting behind him, trying to like hype him up, get him going. But the big thing in there, though, was that we saw Fume. Looked like he was questioning a lot of things that he was doing for pressure, right? He, he would go in, and then he backed off. Like, right... <laughs> <laughs> it's Insignia turning around, like, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, if you're root for Fume, bro, I got you. Yeah, let me go ahead and shout you out real quick. I'm here for it. I love that. I love seeing that. Also, I love that stock, the way that he jumped out there, baiting the high up B, knowing that he didn't have a jump, and then faded back for that forward tilt. Mm -hmm. You definitely can understand that Insignia has a really good understanding of whenever his opponent has limited resources, mm -hmm. how to make them panic and exploit it to the yeah. fullest. And as a Bowser player, who boy, those exploits are a little disgusting. Yeah, exactly. And a big reason why is Fume's been a little linear out of disadvantage. He's been, like, going straight at him with the counter, right? You could get forward throw there, too, and die. So that's not exactly the best option there. And, oh, hey! There, there, there we go. Oh, and it's going to be the Shulk. So the Shulk has, full, uh, has shown its head here in game number three. And now it's like this got to adjust. Big damage already going straight to 66%. Yeah, I honestly kind of agree with this Shulk counter pick. Uh, for one thing... I feel like the ledge traps weren't really there with the Roy, mm -hmm. but with the Shulk, with all that extra range, that might be really helpful covering ledge jump and those yes. sorts of things. The range in particular, oh, yeah, it's still stuck in Smash Art, but it doesn't really matter too much there. Ooh, that up air, <laughs> questionably so. Maybe with jump might have killed, but right now, trying to put pressure on, trying to get in and get the seal, to, uh, like, seal this deal. You, you 121, like you said before, doesn't really mean much to Bowser until his stock actually disappears because he lives forever. It's on Fume right now to actually close this out. Just missed that forward air. And this is the sort of situation where normally he would love to say, go into Smash Art so that he can get the stock. But I don't know about going into Smash Art against Bowser. Let's see if it's going to work out. I think he's going to be getting the kill with that back throw, though. Smash yep. Art actually coming in. Yeah, clutch. Smash Metal coming in. Oh, but gets him with the back air immediately off the platform. So that is going to even it right back up. Buster Monado out. So you have to worry about potentially getting hit here by Bowser, too. Straight to 52%. All because he was in. Your Monado? No, my Monado. <laughs> nice art, bro. <laughs> nice art, bro. Can I, can, I, can I try it out real quick? Now in shield, trying to avoid getting confirmed off any combos. Boy, he reads the roll away. Uh, excuse me, roll in too. And that's the jump. And then jump Monado gets called out. He knew it was coming. Now Insignia here. Up a whole stock. And it's not looking too good for Fume. Yeah, and he's kind of struggling. Trying to figure out which art he needs right now. It's speed. I definitely think that could be a good idea. He hasn't gotten hit. And at this point, I feel like his comeback is mainly going to come from not getting hit for a while. 
That being said, that's not the case right now. Already taking about 46, and he is in Buster. If he gets hit right now, this is going to be so much damage. We've already seen what happens. Yeah, and a big part of this is Insignia realizes, okay, finally tried to go for a grab there, but he hasn't been able to grab him at all. The high recovery again, the, that's the thing I'll talk about, the linear options out of disadvantage. He's getting chased repeatedly because of these jumps, and Insignia just waiting for one mistake, almost catching him on the roll-in, but he's looking for this downer, gets him backed off again. He's pretty much at up smash jump read ranges too. Oh, that parry was so good. That's nice. very smart. Just going for the up B, you're up by so much that just getting extra damage in here is more like... <laughs> Pretty soon, I don't think there's going to be a single option that Bowser has that isn't going to kill. Uh, when do throws from Bowser start killing? Uh, like pretty much throw, right now. Throw. Forward throw will kill, back throw will kill a ledge, so you have to watch out. As you try to find a command grab, too, that's another one that'll end it. He's hunting for it right now. Big damage, though, straight to 122. Didn't have the ability to switch into Monado, try maybe go for a jump on uh, Monado right there. Ooh, trying to catch a poke in his head about the ledge. The ledge shaft coming in, all of a sudden, Fume. Starting to wake up a little bit here. Not able to capitalize off of that, and gets hit ah. on the ground. Reads the roll, but he gets away from the command grab again. How did he not get hit by that? This is shield art. Oh, sorry, the speed art, rather, which means that he has decreased damage. He's not actually able to find the kill. Oh, he is so dead. That is smash art, and I was, he evaporated. Absolutely. His molecules are in the ether, man. Yeah, everything to, uh, just deleted right there. Fume going to go down 2-1 there to Insignia. Played very well around the sword matchups. Obviously, Bowser has a bit of a hard time getting down onto the ground sometimes. But, like we said before, what is damage to Bowser? He lives forever. A little bit out of range. He actually was covering neutral getup, but if he was a little bit further back, he would have covered roll there. And there was a couple times where we saw Fume maybe, like, I think he hesitated to go for reverse up, uh, air slashes off stage, which could destroy Bowser. So because of that fear, he didn't want to give up, like, stage position. He kept going for fares. Insignia was able to play around that, knew he wasn't going to get edge guarded, and played the matchup perfectly. I will say that last stock we just saw that, because remember, despite how dominant that game ended up being for Insignia, Fume took the first stock. Mm -hmm. But he took the first stock, and immediately Insignia respawns, back air kills him at like 90. And that was just such a momentum killer, such a skewing the narrative mm -hmm. in that point. Yeah, that's something commonly you see out of people too. They kind of fall asleep on the angel platform invincibility. It's like, nah, I'll be fine. And then it's like, oh crap, I just died. Because you forgot to shoot, forgot to chill. But it's it's one of those things you learn as you go along. Uh, Fume, uh, I'm glad to see like he's performing well, but today, like you could see the nerves definitely being in there and the composure from Signia, who kind of got amped up from the crowd, who was cheering on Fume in favor instead of him. It's like, no, fine, I'm a get shot. I don't if you're care a about Bowser, that. you feed off the booze. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If you play that character, which, let's be real here, um, kind of amazing, what's the word, flavor, you know? That the people who are playing Bowser, because mm -hmm. people root against them because it is Bowser, they're like, yes, yeah, I give mean, it to me. Speaking of